Mrs. Speaker. <laughs> Mrs. Speaker. I I would have liked to just round up the debate on the six million dollar facility that we are borrowed, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. <coughs> Speaker, I cannot allow the minister, the member from Mikusov, to get away with the things that he is saying, Mr. Speaker. I can't. Mr. Speaker, the member for Mikusov speaks about borrowing at 6% to fix, borrowing at 6% to fix schools at a time when interest rates are rising. Globally, interest, interest rates are rising globally. But as the same Minister of Finance, when interest rates, when the banks were asked when interest was actually at zero, when liquidity was high in the national market, that's the same member <coughs> who borrowed to build roads at 6% over five years. The same minister, the same minister of finance, finds it wrong to borrow now to fix schools, to fix schools at 6% at a time of a rising interest rates globally. But that's the same minister, when it's minister of finance, he declined a loan at 2.5% for 20 years to build a grocery highway. That's, I mean, this thing, you know, when the member from Microsoft began to speak, as if he was never in government, exactly. he, there was a loan from the QATs, 25 years, 2.5%, five five years of interest free five years five years grace period sorry to moratorium to complete to build the Grosile Castries Highway from shock to Grosile and feeder roads in Miku North Viewfort North he stopped it at 2.5 percent he stopped it 25 years and he went and he borrowed money at 6%. Oh, he? Yes. He that just complained about, he just complained about it. DFC. DFC. The member for Mikusov. After he had charged, after he had put a tax of a dollar fifty that he said would be in a lockbox. And the economy. And up to today, the economy can't go with taxes, but he put a tax of a dollar fifty, said per gallon of gas, put it in a lockbox. Up to today, we cannot find that lockbox but still left over 200 million dollars of dfc loans to pay that's not true that is the minister of finance. that's the guy who speak, that that's the okay. gentleman who is speaking about handling the finances uh, of this country that's not true that's not true defend yourself that is the minister of finance I'm that's the minister you don't worry about it because i mean borrowed the money from the taiwanese 20 years five year moratorium you that, that you borrowed more from the taiwanese no, but you borrowed from, what about the money you borrowed what about the dfc's where the dfc's DFCs. where the dfc's covid and dfc what was the, the two but there was no covid and you declined the loan at 2.5 percent why you did it why you did it you said the loan was approved so that is minister that is the member the same member who declined a loan at two point five percent but went to borrow going to borrow after COVID at a time when interest rates were low because he thought he had done a poll and the poll said roads would win the election. <laughs> so he went and instead of going for the, the, the process of road building, he borrowed at 6% over five years to his favorite contractor and also borrowed from the Taiwanese also. So he had a double whammy and look at the roads that he built and ask me for the returns on these roads and he left a bill of 200 million dollars for which we have to pay every year 
200 million. Every year, phones. And he said the dollar fifty was the dollar fifty was supposed to go in a lockbox. The dollar fifty went into the consolidated account, Mr. Speaker. He's a consolidated account, Mr. Speaker. And he comes and he speaks about the roads, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, here is the minister when he was minister of finance. The OKEU was ready. There was a transition team prepared. A country prepared to move into the OKU. We had already true, dealt yeah, with, yeah. The, with, with the Martinicans, the French yeah. assistance to the OKU. Yeah. He fired the transition team and he left us with a bill with Cayman City for 11 million US dollars, which I had to pay. That's true. That, that is the. That, that is the, the member from Microsoft who's talking about OKU hospital. You know. And when COVID struck, he was forced to use the same team of people he had fired to move from Victoria Hospital to COVID. How much you had to pay Cayman City? 11 million. 11 million dollars. We took a loan to pay it. And you know, so I suspect the member from Microsoft doesn't remember he was in government. He doesn't remember. So he comes and he speaks as if that's the same member. The same member, Mr. Speaker, who left payables of $184 million owed to local suppliers and NIC. $184 million of local payables. That's the same, that's the same Minister of Finance. Every time you know your boundaries, Mr. Speaker. That is the same minister when he was the Minister of Finance. St. Lucia borrowed the most in every OEC, in the most in the entire OEC, OECS for COVID. St. Lucia borrowed the most. All the countries borrowed. St. Lucia borrowed the most because the St. Lucian economy was the worst. Yes, and the board, and he comes and he boasts about, he comes and he boasts about management of the economy. St. Lucia borrowed the most. All countries, all countries suffered from COVID, but he borrowed the most, Mr. Speaker. That's what he did. He, Mr. Speaker, that is the same minister the same man when he was Minister of Finance. That was the same man he was Minister of Finance, Mr. Speaker. He said a few minutes ago, how will you finance health? How will you finance health care in this country? Go ahead and talk. Go ahead. When you finish. When you finish, you'll talk. Because you see what you want to do. You want, you want people not to hear what I'm saying, so you're talking across me. Go ahead, talk. <laughs> talk. I want you to talk. There's only one prime minister inside. I want you to talk. That's right, there's only one prime minister. Exactly. But you're talking. Go ahead and talk. Go ahead. Well, talking, what I'm saying to you, no, you... When I'm standing, you're talking. You finish? You finish? Huh? You finish talking to him? That is the same Prime Minister. The same when he was Minister of Finance, Mr. Speaker. When he was Minister of Finance, Mr. Speaker, he inflicted on the people of this country a 150, 150 cents tax for gas. He said that that money was in a black box. A lock box, sorry. A lock box, sorry. He said it was a lock box. Up to today, no one can find that lock box and where that money was. That money went, all he had to say is the money went into the consolidated fund. That's all he had to say. But no, he insists, he insists. It went into a lockbox, Mr. Speaker. But why is the money was in the lockbox to construct roads, he said. He just admitted he borrowed from the Taiwanese. And he borrowed money at 6% for DFCs. 6% for DFCs over five years at a time of low interest rates. Compare these interest rates at the time with interest rates now. 
in the global in, in the global market and it's the difference but he sits, he sits there and he stands and he pretends he's almighty and a manager of the economy look at interest rates now look at the state of the world economy now and the state of the world economy when you were in government after covid there was actually deflation prices went down there was deflation after covid because the supply chain the supply chain was blocked there was deflation right now inflation is at the highest it ever was for several decades but you <coughs> these are facts simple facts mr speaker we understand that the cost of food is going up we understand that we have taken steps and we continue to take steps and we'll continue to have discussions with the the sole one the largest importer of food in the country we'll continue to have discussions with them but the answer part of the answer to the increase in food prices is import substitution and part of the answer is to grow local food when i stood up and i said that we should move to consume more of our bananas the puppy showed me they laughed at me they said i was a fool because i said we we'll use more of our local produce i said i said that we must try to grow more of what we are eating and for emphasis i reversed it for emphasis they puppy show, they tried to puppy show me again that was the cost that was the part of the remedy to high food prices you have your own kitchen garden grow your own food try to practice input substitution i said so instead of the member for mikusov instead of the agreeing and says and says say to the government let us work on a some sort of serious import substitution to try to reduce to consume of our local food the puppy showed me they played politics the same thing that they, they, they are doing now with the reduction in vat in sanitary products the same thing mr speaker tomorrow tomorrow the prime minister of england will speak about poverty i'm a period poverty when you say, but no just for cheap political the same thing he's doing there today cheap political mileage he, he he refuses to accept these facts mr speaker fact is mr speaker this lucian economy did worse than any economy in the oecs after covid that's a fact that's a fact mr speaker and mr speaker let us get let us get back to repairs to schools mr speaker and hurricane thomas mr speaker when the member for viewfort south was minister of finance he made the point that the economy was in transition he said the economy was in transition again the papi showed him mr speaker who built under whose div, under whose government the most hotels were built in this country under which government which government passed the tourism incentives act which government passed the tourism incentives act to supplement the the old tourism the tourism incentives act but a new one which government mr. speaker attracted the most hotel investment in this country and you're speaking about we do not understand the benefits of tourism let me explain to you what i said about tourism because you know it's your habit you see you are fooling yourself that's why you said 15 2 was no majority <coughs> i was in london trying to do a promotion with the minister of tourism he was there about after covid we were trying the promotion in london and i said <coughs> to the audience tourism i was minister of tourism and the record is clear compare my tenure as minister of tourism with yours Can let's I let's let's compare it Can let's go look at the rivals and you know i don't want to come and i don't come in and boast like you you know but facts but you know sometimes i will have to state the facts M mention let's count 
the hotels that were built when you and Mr. Jerusalem and I was there. No. Let's count the increase in visitor arrivals when I asked Mr. Jerusalem when he was there. He he was there. Was Let's there. look about the nature heritage tourism program that brought tourism to the people when I was there and when you were there. He Let's look at the Ansari fish fry that brought tourism to the village of Ansari when he was the Minister of Finance and I was Mr. Tourism when you were there. Yeah. Let us look at the Denry fish fry when he was Prime Minister as Mr. Tourism when you were there. 23 years. Let, let, let's look at it. Let, let us look at it. Let us look at the difference. Let us look at the difference between that time, your tourism management, and my tourism management. Let's look at it. But that is that is for another show. Look at the money you had. The mayor from Mikunov, there was 50 million. You know what you did? You bought a tent. You bought a tent. <laughs> you bought a tent and you had boxing in paradise. That's your tourism promotion. You had boxing in paradise. You spent millions of dollars of boxing in paradise and you got $180 worth of return. That's your record. That's your record. That's your record, That's your record for boxing in paradise. You built a tent. You bought a tent. You bought a tent for hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's what you did. That's what you did. So let's, let's talk about tourism. Let's talk about tourism. Let's talk about who did the National Conservation Authority to, to clean the beaches in this country. Let's talk about tourism. You want to bring the tourism debate? I want to debate with you. Let's talk about tourism. Let's talk about your contribution in tourism. Let's talk about the money that you got to promote tourism and the money we got. And look at the returns. Look at the cost per visitor in my term and the cost of visitor in your term. Let's do, let's do these maps. Let's do this much because you know you believe you believe because you can talk because you believe because you now you see where you're going. Now you see what he's doing. You see what he's saying. Has any one of you taken your own money and built a hotel? You see where he's going. He's getting personal. Now if we answer, he'll rush on the radio station. Say, you see what he's saying about me? You see what he's saying about me? Personal attacks. You hear what he's saying? You hear what he's saying? He is saying, which one of us have taken our own money to build a hotel? So he, so he said he did. That's what he said. So he said he did. Now, if we go into all kinds of things now, if we go down that path, if we go down that path now, and begin to talk about conflict of interest, etc., he'll complain. You see what he's saying? But he opens the door, but I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Not going there. So, Mr. Speaker, this member, when he was Minister of Finance, he comes here and he says that we are borrowing money to fix schools, and he is afraid, he's ashamed, the economy will crash. He's been saying the economy will crash from since July 2021. Yeah, 2020. Been saying that, you know. Been wishing and praying for the economy to crash. Wishing. Any time he gets up in the morning, he says, Lord, make the economy crash. That's, that's what he's wishing for, that's for the economy to crash. That's what he says he, all over the time. He, 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 he wants the economy to crash. He wishes, right now he's predicting. Look at what growth will be. The same, the same member who said, we'll not be able to pay civil servants. He and his people said, we can't pay civil servants. Look at what will happen. He said, we'll attract no investment because he has the most charisma in the world and he can talk to international people. He, said, he supported that, that these, these theories. But you, you, you don't know his history of investment? He found the range hotel that he caused the hotel not to be built and he had to pay the, the owner of the range. That's his history. Mr. Speaker, we're going to go into history. But you know, because the, min, the member of Mikosov believes he can go out there with his surrogates and say whatever they want. Say whatever they want. Cause people to insult people on social media. Write all kinds of things that are not true and he'll get away with it. We agree, we agree that the cost of food is high. We agree that. The Minister of Commerce has taken several steps to reduce the price of food, Mr. Speaker. But he is also saying that we don't have enough money to fund school repairs and to fund health care. But he has never said, how are we going to fund health care 
and health insurance. Health insurance. Health insurance. Never. The health insurance. And you know, he said he never. Missed. You want me to play the tip? You talk about health insurance. Of course. Please. I'm so tired of the threats. You think that you should? You'll just prove his uh, uh, speaks untrue. So, 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 so the, the tips are wrong. The tips are wrong. What, what you say is wrong. What you say is wrong. You said it's a recording of you. A recording of what you said. But you even deny you might say that. That's what you would say. Speak. You ever meet a man who said what he said? He lied to me, don't you know what he said? First of all, he said he never spoke about public flogging, eh? Yeah. Remember, remember he didn't say that? Can I play the tape of you saying you don't even want to? Yes. You can play it. You can play it. I want you to play it. Yeah. I want you, I want you to play it. Play it. So let me explain to you what, what, what I said. Let, let, let me first of all play. The Labour Party has done in the past, mm -hmm. in the South, and what they are doing today, today yes. they should be publicly flogged <laughs> for what they are doing. Yes, yes. Okay? Yes. They should be publicly flogged. <laughs> they should be publicly flogged. <laughs> That's one. Who should be publicly flogged? You just said you never said anyone should. I didn't say that. You said I said that. I said who? Who did I say that you should be flogged? All the people that are, that are causing people to suffer in this country. That's what you should be talking about. So you should be talking about. So you should put on a 2.5% tax cut. This is what is putting on this country. And you want to do that? 2.5% levy has to go. In April 2019, Cabinet took a decision to form a National Health Insurance Levy Committee. That is why I'm saying to all of you tonight, I'm begging all of you all a favor. We are going to have another march because you know why? The 2.5% levy has to go. In April 2019, Cabinet took a decision to form a National Health Insurance Levy Committee. Levy Committee. Levy Committee. Insurance. 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 Insur
when they were they were expecting a baby they could not get any of the tests that were necessary before their prenatal care now under the health the universal health care these mothers are getting that attention which they deserve and you cannot deny it you can't deny it even though you try to papi show it and <coughs> papi show it and pay as if it doesn't exist you can't deny it you can't deny that we remove that on pampers you understand? And you're saying that we did it for two years. We did it for two years in the first instance, but you did it for no years. You never did it. You never understood period poverty. You never understood what it means. And that is something all over the world you can't deny it. You never understood what it means for a young mother to have to make a choice between buying these products and feeding a child. You never understand it. You never understood it. We never put VAT on any... Anyhow, I worry about you. We removed VAT. We removed VAT on it. We removed VAT on sanitary napkins as we go. We removed VAT on sanitary napkins. You understand? But, you understand? But that is a problem. That's a problem. The problem is the delusion that he is feeling. The delusion. So, Mr. Speaker, we are moving on. Payables. $184 million of payables to local suppliers and the NIC. That's what he left. $184 million. $200 million of DFCs at 6% for roads when he could get the same roads built at 2.5%. That's what, what he left behind, Mr. Speaker. That's what he left behind. $11 million to Cayman City. Fired the transition team to move from Victoria Hospital to OKU. Fired the team of solutions. Fired them. And he, and he had a big ceremony at Capital State. And again, the tip, what he said. What he said in the tip, Cayman City, no faith in the capability and the capacity of St. Lucians. No faith. Same thing he, he repeated there, in other words, a while ago. No faith in St. Lucians, Mr. Speaker. No faith. No faith, Mr. Speaker. So, <coughs> Mr. Speaker, and again, even though, you see, Mr. Speaker, he back on Slasper again. I will repeat, because those who did not hear about Slasper, and let, us, let me tell them again about Slasper, again, because you know he wants me to say it, I'll say it again. He opened the door. Slaspers has not changed in any significant way. The port operations, the cargo operations will continue to be handled by Slasper. In 2019, 82% of Slasper's revenue came from port operations. That will not change. In 2019, 11% of Slasper's revenue came from port operations. That is going to change. The 11% is going to change. It will go to GPH, to GPH, for GPH to upgrade the cruise, the cruise facilities in the country, including the vendors are kid. In, in 2022, 91% of Slasper's revenue <coughs> came from the cargo operations. That will not change. In 2022, only 4% of Slasper's revenue came from crews. That will change. In 2023 to date, 86% of Slasper's revenue came from cargo operations. Only 9% came from cruise operations. The 86% will not change. Slasper continues to be a statutory board with, uh, with, dual from, with dual ministries on control, infrastructure, and finance. Slasper will continue. Slasper staff will not be affected. Slasper was integral, it was involved in the GPH agreement and the GPH, what's happening at GPH. GPH already operates ports in Antigua, ports in, and ports in the Bahamas. And if you go to the Bahamas, you will see what port GPH operates in the Bahamas. So GPH is not a, a company that's just came from nowhere. We, <coughs> are insisting that GPH delivers on the promises that they make to the people of St. Lucia 
and we are the Minister of Tourism is a, is ensuring that these premises are delivered, Mr. Speaker. The ports were not sold. The ports were not sold because eighty three percent of the eight, more than eighty percent of the operations of the port will continue to be done by Strasbourg. So that is the that is the story about Slasper and the pots. That is the reality of the situation. What we what we're not saying is that the cruise operations are going to be upgraded. The loan will be liquidated, and Slasper will have increased capacity and better fiscal strength to deal with the cargo operations and in that case they can upgrade the cargo they can upgrade the cargo operations at the port mr speaker that is the story of Strasbourg. and speaking about ppps mr speaker the member from microsoft insists that the same minister the same gentleman who speaks about debt and grow the economy refuses to understand that PPPs do not increase the debt burden on the country. And all the international financial organizations are recommending that governments use PPPs to develop the infrastructure and reduce the debt burden. That's a fact. And these things are factual. They, can't be, they cannot be denied with rhetoric. These are factual. PPPs are the preferred way for infrastructure development. Roads in Jamaica now, roads, major roads have been built through PPPs. Major roads, Mr. Speaker, all over the developing world. PPPs are the way. We came, you came into government and you found a PPP complete for you know, International Airport. Complete. He went to International Airport as we speak. <coughs> could have been finished. The terminal could have been finished. You cancelled it. You can't do it. And you instructed Slasper. The same Slasper that you're speaking about. There's a report that says you instructed Slasper. I've never instructed Slasper. You know? And so you seem to forget that you're in government. <clears throat> He's forgetting excuses for everything he did. Excuses. For everything he did, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> the only man. The only man, the only party that we refer to as run for, the only party you know, which Frederick will be able to defend himself. He, he's, he is a lawyer. Mr. Speaker, you have, you have the opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to look at what happened in the case of the land at Bannon and what happened with DSH in Viewford. You can compare and you can contrast, Mr. Speaker. You can look at the size of the property, you can look at the cost of the property, and you look at DSH. You understand, Mr. Speaker? But that, that is going to come at another stage, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you know, attacking journalists, his habit, yeah. his habit, he can't help himself. You can imagine, he can't, yeah, right away, attacking a journalist. Sure, he talk. cannot help himself, Mr. Speaker, and he wants to sure, talk talk. about what I said to a journalist. I'll say what I said again. He, the journalist asked me whether I had read a report. I said to him, that's not his business. I didn't insult him. I called him no names. I said, that is not your business. Because what I read or what I will read is my business. I never threatened him. I never said, I never called him any names. That's all I said. But you want to use that? Huh? I didn't call his editor. You know, Mr. Speaker, I never called his editor. You know, up to now, there are people here who call editors and tell and complain to them that reporters are not doing the right thing. I've never called the editor. Never. I've never called a radio station and complained about news. Never. I've never done that. I've allowed the press a free reign. You want to make a fuss and say, because I told a man, that's not your business? If you ask me, what's my, that's not your business. 
I didn't tell him to ask the question. After I continued to I continued to ask to answer the questions that he posed on me. But what was not relevant was what I had read. So, Mr. Speaker, we are very happy that we are borrowing money to fix schools. And the minister said he knows it's not enough. Of course he knows, but it's a start. He speaks about school repairs, Mr. Speaker, but he never remembers Hurricane Thomas in 2010. He's forgotten that. He's forgotten Hurricane Thomas in 2010, not only damaged infrastructure, but damaged many schools. And what we inherited in 2010 was the Bad Hill. You remember all the, 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 the problems in the Bad Hill that we had to repair? So we had, our, we had stuff, and that's why climate change is such a threat to the region, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I'm very happy that the African Expert Bank has borrowed that money to us. And I, as I said before, we will remain focused on the work we have to do to improve this country. The Ministry of Education is trying its best with limited resources. Of course we know the resources are limited, but we're trying the best with what we have, Mr. Speaker. And we'll continue. And if you outline the things we've done for education in the first two years since in government, and the things that they did for education in the first two years that were in government, let's make a comparison. The time will come for the comparison, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I thank members for the, for the support and I look forward to the construction and the repairs of these schools. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.